Hello everyone and welcome to a new a new project I'm doing on YouTube. The next game I'm doing, Uncharted 2. Now I've I've done the first game. I've done the first game. Uh hold on, let me adjust my mic actually. Sorry guys. Okay, hopefully that should be fine. But yeah, I did the first game on the channel and uh it's been a while since I so I figured I would do the uh, the second game and to be honest, I'm happy to do it because uh I'm re I really love this series so much. I honestly love this series. It's too bad that the series is pretty much over now, but yeah, I, uh, I I really love this series. I honestly do love this. Pretty much, uh, it's pretty much male Lara Croft. Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. And even the title was just badass, to be honest. There we go. So we got chat. So obviously I've played this game before. But yeah, we'll play. Uh, we're gonna play the first, the first uh, chapter of Rock and a Hard Place. And to be honest, this game has one of the best opening levels in a video game. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, thirteen twenty-four. So yeah. So whereas the first game focused around uh, Francis Drake, uh, this game focuses around Marcus po uh, Marco Polo. Oh. Rough night at the bar there, Nate. Bit of a rough bar. Yeah, rough night at the bar there. Ooh, that's not good. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. And uh, yeah, from from Uncharted 1 as well, the graphics of this game there, you can see the improvement as well. You can honestly see the improvement. It looks really good. Ooh! Ooh, that's a drop. And uh, yeah, guys, this is a uh, yeah, this is the opening level of Uncharted 2. Waking up in a train, falling off, uh, that's about to fall off the edge. Like one of the greatest opening levels in video games, hands down, just because of this. Ooh, I got a reward. Let's see the bonus menu then. Oh yeah, because I've obviously played the game before, we got all sorts of like skins and all that as well. Dirty and beat up, yeah, which is the skin he's got now, and all sorts of weapons and that I can uh, I can use to just kind of like cheat and get a free weapon. I'm not gonna do them, of course, because new new playthrough gonna be uh, completely vanilla, you know, completely uh, completely naked is uh, if it as you were uh, if it uh, as as it were. I can say the expression right, apparently. But yeah, guys, can you like imagine just waking up like like this, you know, on a freaking half destroyed train hanging over the edge of a cliff somewhere in the freaking i think himalayas i think it, i think he's in i think he's in the himalayas uh am i going the right way oh no i'm not i have to go up this way Oof. Ooh, hang in there nate hang in there there we go and of course, in typical uh, Uncharted fashion, we have to climb up the train. How this train is still hanging on and hasn't like fallen yet with Nate inside, I will never know. I, I, he has gotten really lucky here. And while I love the first game, this game is definitely an improvement over it. I would, I would say this game's probably my second favorite in the series. My first favorite being uh, four, of course. But uh, it's okay. Ooh. Oh yikes! Ooh. Damn! Hang on, Nate. There we go. Right, swing. Yeah, we got it. We got it. But yeah, um, I'll, eventually I will do. I will work my way up to four. And again, it is my favorite in the series. Uh, and you guys will see why when I actually do. When I get around to doing it. And yeah, we have to freaking, we have to blooming climb up the chairs, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, climb up the seats. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. And hopefully these videos will be better quality than my uh, my uh, first game videos as well. Because uh, because I was using a headset mic and not an actual mic mic, uh, the, the, the audio quality and that, the quality in those videos uh, are not the best. Because I was recording that straight from PlayStation and uh, before I uh, started using OBS. Go on, get up, Nate. Or you can go for the window. That works too. Uh, wait, yeah, we gotta go around to the right here. 
Now, of course, there are parts of this game that are a bit out of place. Like, this game is the first game to in include stealth sections. Uh, yeah, stealth sections in, the in these games. And they work for the most part. Like, for what they were trying to do, they do kind of work. Um, and they're, they're, they're kind of enjoyable if you like stealth. But for the most part, though, this game is obviously all action like the first game. All right, come on, Nate. Up you go. Up you get. Come on, buddy. Yeah, okay, it's cool. We got this. Up you get. Oh, this thing's going to come down. Oh. Come on, Nate. Run. Run, Nate. Run. Jump. Ooh. Oh, good. There you go. Good man, Nate. You survived. Fair play to him as well. Doing all that while wounded and covered in his own blood. Like, that's... Wow. That's it. That is just wow. I think this is like a few months later. A few, a few months before, I think. Yeah, I think this is a few months before. Buy me a drink, sailor. <laughs> Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> I love the Come banter on. Nate has with his friends as well. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. I don't hmm. listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. Oh. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Hello. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts <laughs> us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what mm. is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm. worthless. I don't get it. Neither do Neither we. Do that's I. why we tracked you down. I've forgotten the story. It sounds of this like you're working for well. a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. Hmm. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? No, and Nate, it's probably Borrowed still good. <laughs> from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and mm. I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great... Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. Light of the Great Khan. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Bloody hell. Now he recorded every detail of his journey but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers so mm. so somewhere out there there are 13 ships loaded with the emperor's treasure waiting to be found yeah and that is what your client is after hey, look at this lamp it's covered in mongolian script it must have been a gift from kublai khan the light of the great khan shelters the, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Huh. marco polo hid something inside this lamp okay cool something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So there we go. There, there, there we have so, the 
the re motive for Nate getting involved. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. <laughs> I love that. You in then? We're dicking this guy over. What the hell? Of course. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, don't say that, Nate. Whenever you say what could possibly go wrong, something will always go wrong. Oh, okay. Looks like Nate's come too. Yeah, something will always go wrong if you say that. Damn, the train's a wreck. Yeah, something you guys should never say is what could possibly go wrong. Because something can and will go wrong. Oh, crud. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Oof, there we go. We got there. We got there. Yeah, this place is a wreck. Oof. Hello, our first weapon. Let's go. So, yeah, of course, the mechanics in this game are going to be very similar to the first one. Ooh. Oh yeah, we gotta shoot that. I forgot. Of course, it's locked. It's always locked. Yeah. Such is your luck, Nate. He's alive. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Sucks for you, bitch. mate. Yeah, exactly, Nate. It is a bitch. How do I... Okay, that's how I reload. Okay. I've forgotten the controls of the first one, so I'm probably a bit rusty. <laughs> I've forgotten the controls and the story. Which, again, does suck, because I love these games so much. And I have to admit, when the movie came out, I was a bit iffy about the movie, but I actually kind of enjoyed the movie. I think Tom Holland did uh, quite a good uh, quite a good, um, a good, good job as Nathan Drake. Even, uh, even if the story was a bit... Uh, bit of a mix between um bit of a even though the story was a bit of a mix between one and three but yeah there was it was definitely a good story definitely a great story and i really hope there's a second one wasn't sure how i felt i, I didn't really i didn't really see um okay we go. i didn't really see mark Wahlberg much as as sully just because uh yeah I, I don't think he i don't think he fit the look of sully to be honest He had he had sort of the sort of the wit, but he didn't have the charm. Uh, I find, but that's just me, of course. Right now, I think we need to no. Ah, yeah, there we go. We got to climb up to the hole in the roof. In the skylight. Ooh. Damn. That's gonna hurt. Nate can't get a break, can he? He just can't get a break. I think... Yeah, he's gonna get another little flashback here, too. I think, I'm guessing it's like a few months before the start of this, uh, this point, I think. Hello. Hello, Chloe. Uh well, so much for foreplay. You might tell me what the hell is going on. You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, Oof. you're not jealous. That was a burn. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Mm, really? Is Mostly it, though? <laughs> oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Okay, so uh, Just like we said, Nate dated Chloe, but it sounds like 
We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Hmm. Together this time. I see. I wonder what happened Until to Alina then. then. He can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be pissed. Gonna be fine. He is, go he is <clears throat> gonna be pissed. Trust me. You guys talking about you guys talk about like they, they they talk about dicking over their their employer, but it looks like uh well, Chloe and uh, Nate are already dicking of a different kind. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, it looks like Nate and Elena must not have uh, lasted a lo as long as they wanted then as he wanted. Uh, wait, do I have to? Ah, okay, yeah, here we go. Oof, almost walked off the edge there. That would not have been good. Oh wait, no, I gotta go underneath. There we are. It's all coming back to me. See, and some and so other games I would love to do on the channel that like like this are. I'd love to do the uh, the Tomb Raider Survivor series. I would do the original Tomb Raiders, but uh, yeah, they're uh, they're a bit hard to record with how much they are. Uh, how much they, uh, they, like, how much, is, like, they, ooh, you need to do in them. Like, it's, and how hard it is to, like, go off by memory with those games. So, I'd probably end up doing the, uh, doing videos of the, uh, the Survivor series, where, you know, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then Shadow. Oh. Oh, hello, what are you? A dagger of some kind. Apologies, guys. Someone, uh, someone wanted to speak to me quickly. Damn, yeah. Nate's got like some kind of Hindu-looking dagger. Kind of cool looking. Okay, so it, yeah, it's four months earlier before, yeah, you're four sure months before the, the train wreck. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Yeah, exactly. They're, Relax. Just, they're just doing their job. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, <laughs> you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. I mean, yeah, they're just museum cards after all. We don't need to kill them. Ugh. I don't fancy going in there. Lovely. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, yeah, yeah I mean... Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> adaptable. Adaptable? Pla plans, plans. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I love the banter in this game as well. But yeah, there. plans always need to change after all. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. Sounds right, like a plan. Chat. Let's do this. <laughs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Eyes up, Drake. Eyes on the prize, buddy. Are you sure you know where you're going? 
Don't I chapter two, breaking and entering. I forgot what the first chapter was called. I think it was just called train wreck. Uh, train wreck. Yeah. Not really, Flynn. I personally hate my je my clothes getting wet and uh, yeah, my, like the, the jeans days, are uh, getting squidgy. Yeah. When were those again? I, uh, I'm not exactly. Yeah, I hate when my clothes get wet and like you know that feeling where like it just you, your legs feel like moist and that like or like I don't know just sticky and that. Like, I I I hate that. Feeling. Oh wait, this can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. And nope. <laughs> hey. Now, what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. Oh. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if Nate's dumb for trying that joke or if Flynn's dumb for uh, not getting it. Here it comes. Thanks. Yeah, I would have shown off getting treasures in the first game and this, but unfortunately, I think um, I think even Almost if you start there. a new game, I think even if you start a new game, um, the treasure, the treasures, uh, they still carry over. So the fact that I've gotten all the treasures, yeah, I can't show them off, unfortunately, which is really dumb, to be honest. Here we go. Oh. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. Good oh, good oh. Cool. So it looks like we're actually at... Yeah, I think we're actually in the museum now, like proper. Well, not proper, but we're in like the area with the, uh, because of the, uh, you know, we're in the boiler room, basically. Just reach up there oh. and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah. Up oh, you go. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Ooh. All right, this is the way to the courtyard. Ooh, ladder well, up there. We're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. Oh, definitely All not. Right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. Uh, so I'm guessing See up here. Let's try here. Then. It's always Nate, isn't it? Always Nate who's got to do it. You got it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, now we won't have to we burn our skin this time. Ooh. And showing. Uh, ooh. You know, Flynn, it would have helped if you had uh, got off the platform to start with. Thought I'd freaking knocked him off then. Okay, good. Oh, okay, so here we are, cover tutorial. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? How the guard that how that guard didn't hear them talking, I'll never know. Oh. It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! Oh, lovely. There's an alarm. Oh, that's nuisance last time. Oh, great. Oh. Now what? Okay. They must have done it, it before, I guess. The junction box. They must have cased the joint, I guess, and maybe uh, be around done, done a practice a practice run. Which make would make sense. Uh, right, junction box. Let's follow the wires. So. Looks like is that it? No. Ah, wait, yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah, here we are. There, that ought to do it. Let's hope they didn't shut everything off though. All right, we're in. 
Ah, okay, good. We didn't. In like Flynn. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe I should make that the title of the video. Oh. I got him. Okay, uh press the okay, cool. Oh. So we have our we have our stealth. Just smacks the guy in the back of the head. There's the tower. Yeah. Okay. But we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard through that gate over there. Well, let's Seems do easy it. enough. Oh no! What am I doing? There we go. Where's Flynn go? Ah, there he is. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Yep. So transfer to the. Ooh! I have to hold circle. I have to hold circle. Oof. We That's gotta hurt. To that balcony. I think it's effective, I guess. Here. Got it. Good thing there's uh, many things for them to hold on to. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now we get our melee attack. There we go, nice and easy. How no one heard the sound of fighting, I'll never know. Uh oh. Come on, what are you waiting for? Waiting for you, buddy. Okay, I'm almost there. Oh. You go left. Sounds like a plan. Okay. How he didn't. That was weird. He kind of glitched and went right next to me, but didn't see me. Huh. Right. Are you going to take him, Flynn? Oh, yeah, I can go up here. <laughs> Just shoves him down. Nice little flip there, buddy. Well, that works. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> okay. Power box. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, great. Ah, great. You oh, literally. <laughs> Wait here. I love how Harry just raises an eyebrow as if, like, are you kidding? It's like, yeah, mate. I'm not. Do, do, you know, you do some of the freaking work. Oh, this work. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I gotta climb up the gate, though. It's like all this climbing that Nate's doing, like, you know, he's the one actually climbing up the walls and that, right? Doing the arms. Maybe he should get most of the freaking share. Okay, it's off. All right. All right. One, two, three. All right. Go. You got it. Yeah. Come on. Go, go, go. Hurry. Okay, okay. Go. Right. Hurry up. Easy. Easy. Fair play to them, being able to lift that gate, like, just two of them. Alright, we gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the road. Damn, nice place, though. I'll just let you do all the asking. Right. Wow. Head for the fountain. Of course you're gonna let me do all the ass kicking. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Let's go this way, then. Ooh. Right, night night. 
Like, any of these guards could just call out for the other guards, you know? Now, usually there would actually be a treasure inside this fountain, but, uh, yeah, of course I've already got them. Oh. Ah, there we go. Sleep tight. Huh, sleep tight. Right, so... Oh, okay, yeah, I think we've got to go up here now. Who? I forgot about those guys. Alright, now Finn's gonna get him, I think. Yep, Finn's gonna get him. Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? All right. There's a lot of bloody windows. The, the, the open one, Flynn. The open one. The obvious open one. Which bloody window? God, man. It's no wonder. It's no wonder. It's no wonder Nate's the brains here. Uh oh. Right. This might be tricky. This, yeah, this may be a bit tricky. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, hell oh, no. That's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Yeah. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a gun, genius. I love just I love the banter and like just the sass that what well, Flynn has, because as you guys could tell, I'm Brit. Uh, from my voice, I'm British. So uh, yeah, I I take pride in the sass that British pe uh, British characters just have, you know, because well, Britain are sassy people. We're we're snarky people. I love the cross he made with the guns as well. Very very kind of cool. Very nice little thing. Sleep, guys. All right. Okay. No. Ooh. Nope. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Good man. Ooh. Nighty night. Right. Get up to Ooh. Uh, I'm assuming he wouldn't die from that. This could help. Oh yeah, I think we got. Yeah, I think we got to push this. But yeah, I just, I love, I love the the the, the, the snarkiness and the sass that yeah. British characters just have in video games. I just, I really love those. Or oh, we could just climb up it because we're we we can climb. Um. Those rafters will get us onto the roof. Ah, if we can okay. Get up there. Um. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh, okay. That works. Yeah. Good oh, catch. Yes. Your old heart. Thank you, mate. I guess uh, Nate's first. I guess. Or uh, I don't know. I suppose brains and brawn before everything else. Hey, Eladi Kore. Oh. Eladi Kore. <laughs> oh! Did not mean to do that. Right, okay, so that's the first death of it, guys, of this run, guys. Of this uh, playthrough. Are you, are you gonna help me out or not, British boy? This could help. Don't know why I just said that when, yeah, I just said that I'm British. There, that'll work. Okay, come on, time for your grappling hook. Oh, good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Yeah, you said that. It is annoying that, like, it is annoying that the guard comes through the door, though. It's like, why stand in front of the door, mate? Why stand in front of the door? Hey! 
Eller yukarı. Eller yukarı. Yere yat. Dizlerine çak. Oh yeah. I forgot I can aim more I can aim more hanging. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that because the game doesn't tell you. Good. The, the game doesn't tell you, so you 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 you're left wondering. Oh, okay. Uh, what's going to happen? But yeah, it, it doesn't tell you that you can aim while you're uh, hanging from a, a ledge or a, a handhold. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time. Probably best. Although that's if there is a next time. Who? Nate, what the hell are you thinking, mate? Uh. Okay, that works. I thought I could go around them, but apparently not. There we go. Now, ooh, through here, yep. All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, it, it is quite obvious. What's the matter, Flynn? Scared of heights? I, def I definitely want to see if I can platinum these games as well. The first one I know is going to be kind of difficult because there's a speedrun trophy where you have to play as a, 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 a costume called Donut Drake where he's like really fat and he's... Uh, He's really fat and he's kind of slowed down. Oof, that was close. Shit, that was close. Yeah, that's what I just said. But yeah, yeah, you have to complete the game at a certain time uh, as Donut Drake, and it it, it, can, it can be difficult. So I definitely, uh, I definitely going to see if I can uh, platinum these games, to be honest. Just because, yeah, well, I'm a trophy whore. <laughs> I am a bit of a trophy whore, and uh, I love these games a lot. Of course I'm up. I have to show you how it's done, it seems. Ah, yeah, there we go. So push left and right to run along the walls and then jump. I'm right behind you. Yeah. As always. Textbook. All right, now we should be able to go up here. Yeah, nope. Nate. There's a guy above you. Or the... Who? Uh, oh, right, okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to kill this guy. Oh, unless he won't die and he'll just swim, but either way. Bye. There's a guy below you. There's a guy below you. <laughs> I love that little uh, that little that little uh, joke that Flynn does. I always found that a bit funny. I know many people won't get it, but I uh, won't no, won't uh, find it funny, but I I definitely find it funny. Okay, come on, Chloe. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is I can't go up it, mate, because the floodlights. We need Chloe to, we need Chloe to get her butt in gear. Oh, or do we have to actually jump at the ladder? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, it looks like uh, we can go across this one, right? I, I suppose it's because yeah, it's facing the cliff, so uh, they, they 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 can't see me. Right. Nate, are you gonna are you gonna swing? Nate, ha, ha, swing, swing, buddy. Oh, duh. Again, the game doesn't tell you that you could uh you can uh, aim while you're ha while you're hanging. I completely forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. Ooh. Nearly there. Okay. Yeah. There's our tower. The light's still on. Chloe will take care. Hmm. I hope so. Oof. All right. Come on. Yep. There we go. Good. 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 Oh, let's see if I can. Can't hit that guy from here. Oh, can I? No. Can I? Night. Night. Makes it easier on me. Thank God this thing has infinite ammo. Shit. Okay. I can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. Come on, girl. Come on, hotness. <laughs> That's my girl. How they don't notice that the floodlights have, have shut off, I'll never know. Unless they do notice and that they just think it's a power failure, maybe. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's still a bit weird. Oh, 
hopefully I'll be able to finish chapter two in this in, in this video. Okay, Flint, okay. are you gonna go in? We're clear. And let me guess, I'm going first, aren't aren't I? Ladies first. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> that is, yeah, I, I, I like that. Like, just I, like, I don't know why I just like that little like banter. Like, ah, cute. Here we go. Ooh, hello, hello. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until mm. we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Smart. Voila. <laughs> hey, hey, that's, right. that's pretty good, to be fair. That's pretty good. Now we're sure it's the right one. Mm. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Oof. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's blank. Crap. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Huh. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... You got a better idea? Hey, at least Nate kind of made a barrier so the fire can't go too far away. Like, too spread. Let me see that. Wow, blue fire. That's pretty cool, actually. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. Okay. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. That makes things easier. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shambhala. Shambhala? The curse of the Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Damn, Shambhala. Marco I forgot Polo that. found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. Damn. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Okay, yeah, so it looks like, yeah. Oh, hey, what? what are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Hey, you dick, we... Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? What? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> Oh. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, mm, did you though? Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh -uh, not yet. Want to give the guards a decent head start? Right, that's my cue. Oof. Oh, no you hard dick. Feelings, yeah? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No hard feelings, dick. I wanted to, I wanted to go on record that not all British people are uh, not all British people are traitorous scumbags like Flynn. Okay. Oh, no, oh no, crud. No. Okay, now I'm go. No, Nate, don't use the freaking. There we go. Don't use the roll. Run. All right. All right. Thanks, Nate. Thank all right. Aha! There's the there's the sewer plate. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there we go. Now run, buddy. Run. This way, this way. Use your head, mate. Use your head. Oh, good. Order now get out of here. Order to say yes, uh, there we go. You got that. There we go. Ooh. Well, gotta get to that ladder. Yeah, I don't think we want to see the inside of a Turkish prison, mate. See you, suckers. Ah, uh, yeah. Although I have a bad feeling about this, though. Uh, 
How the hell? Ah, oh, damn it. Of course they played us. You of course they played us. You have one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, Jesus. Oh, You've okay, so... Oh, really? Hey, oh, hey, Jesus. Hey. Jackass, you're Sully. ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. It's Sully. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but... Hey. How much did it cost to get him Jesus, out? you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? <laughs> I well, miss Sully. Uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn <laughs> minute. Hear her out. I've Thank missed you, Nate. Peter. I've no missed offense, you, buddy. Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no. It's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. <laughs> the cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, next. Oh, you know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Jesus. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani Stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. Good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. Ah, Lazarevich. I remember him. Right well, Lazarevich, but I call him Lazarevich. There's still time. Because, uh, yeah, gonna get he's us into dick. that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Man, well, payback's a bitch. <laughs> Look, they called it the wish fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Huh. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world a perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Damn. That's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani Stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get yeah, a look exactly. at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job yeah from someone they know and trust oh okay I and see you do kind of own it just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off <laughs> Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged i Are think she was oh, joking nate yes, i was in before you were <laughs> Of course Sully is in when it comes to money. When it comes to money, of course Sully's in. Borneo. So yeah, it looks Chloe, like uh, the train wreck is uh, one month no, after. Clear. We're getting close. <laughs> Chapter 3, okay, Borneo. But guys, I am going to end the video here because I've been going for a bit. So in the next video, we will explore Borneo and see if we, uh, see if we can't find... Uh, get a peek at Lazara Bitch's, uh, yeah, Lazara Bitch's files. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this first video, and I hope you guys are looking forward to more Uncharted. And uh, yeah, guys, I shall see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye. Uh, goodbye for now.